Well, here, pick it up, let everybody see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a rather unique buck. This is Zach Ruthern, and it's scored 184 inches gross. It's a 17 point. Did I say your last name right? Ruthven. Ruthven. It's nothing like it. Okay. Uh, this is Washtenaw County shot with a crossbow. It's got 17 scoreable points. I don't, it must have 17 points in art score. We'll score one right around the brow tines here. Zach, walk me through this buck. I mean, had, you said you kind of knew this guy was in there, right? Did you know he was this big? Uh, I did know he was this big. Last year, I actually saw him, and uh, um, I was actually went out with my dad hunting, and um, he broke his wrist last year, so he took the crossbow and I had um, his Martin. And uh, where I was up in my stand, I, I had a climber, and I tend to go as high as I can in climbers so I can stay like, as far away from here as I can. And uh, this guy came in uh, probably 40 yards. I walked for 20 minutes, and I don't know if you guys obviously know if you see a deer for more than five minutes, like your heart just. If you don't get buck fever, you should be hunting. I mean, it's ridiculous. But so you're, you're shaking the tree. Yeah. The, the, the tree was shaking more than I was. Yeah, this guy came in and I drew back. I watched him get all the scrapes. He came in, I drew back, and he was probably ten yards, and I was shaking so bad that I, I shouldn't have even taken a shot. So, but I did miss him. He ran off and buck for a lifetime gone. Then this was last year. This was last year. This year, um, it was a morning hunt. I don't like, I don't like waking up early, but I woke up for this morning and uh, went out there with uh, with one of my buddies, and I was sitting in the stand. And uh, the day went out was like 9 o'clock and still didn't see anything and then I heard a crack on the floor and like spooked two does and they ran off and like, wind's not in my favor, something must be going on. And I was rough but I'm um, not going to see anything and I was like debating and getting out for the next half hour. So I threw some more grunts and uh, rattled a bit and then another crack and then I just see antlers. I had no idea that it was big, I just saw antlers and I looked away, I looked at my crossbow, turned my red dot on and there was like a big maple tree in the way of or in the way of like where I was and where he was, and I just stared at that maple tree, did not look at the deer at all. And I had my gun up where he was about to step out on too, and I did not move until he stepped out. Still did not look at the antlers. Took the shot. Um, I don't really remember taking the shot. I don't remember that yeah, point at all. All I remember is seeing the dog, or the deer, the dog. Seeing the deer, <laughs> the big dog. Um, seeing the deer. Running with dogs, let's just be clear. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh, and this guy just walked off like nothing happened. So I was like, like, I don't know what just happened. I got down, I texted everybody that like I just shot like a like, huge buck and then like I had to wait for my dad to come out there. I always like uh, wait for him to come out so he's gonna track it. It's his favorite thing. He says he loves hunting anybody. I think he likes to track and with me more. Um, he uh, he came out, waited like 45 minutes and like every minute the deer got, or the, he just got smaller in my mind. I was like, okay, it went from this to like, it was like a small six point or something. And like I told everybody I shot a big buck. Now, so you, at this point, you don't even know if you <laughs> no, no, well, I walked over and I got my arrow. My arrow was covered in blood, but I, like, kind of did the whole, like, uh, like, 15 feet around type thing, check to see if there's any splatter marks or anything. I didn't see anything, and I was like, this is really bad. I must have, like, gave him, like, a really good ear piercing. And, um, and then, like, I went back out my dad, we started walking, and then it just, like, started spraying, and we noticed, like, uh, that there was a for sure sign of, like, that I got him decent. Um, I mean, there was like white frothy blood on the arrow, so like it was a uh, long shot. And we walked up to it, and how far did he go? He went probably 65, 70 yards, but like it was like deep. I couldn't even get to this stuff. I don't get how these things fit through brush when I can't fit like my body through it. But um, we finally broke through all the stuff and found it, and I was just yeah shaking. I had no idea he was. I knew he was big, but not this big. What'd you What'd you get him to say? Uh, He's really excited, but I think he was, like, maybe a little bit mad that he's been running all his life, and, like, yeah, this is bigger than the shot. <laughs> I think he's probably okay with it. So, let's, so you get the buck out there, you can go show all your buttons, everybody just going crazy? Yeah, well, the, getting the deer out was, like, a little hassle, too. Like, it took it probably an hour just to drag this thing out. Me and my buddy tried to drag it out. We got it probably 30 yards in maybe 45 minutes. And, uh, yeah, he was a, he was a fatty. But, um, and let's see that this has a really unique thing on the back here. It's got kind of a, a, a mane. You said something the taxidermist said he's only seen that a couple times? Yeah, the taxidermist uh, asked me if I wanted to shoot it because it, it seems like he did a bad job doing it, but obviously he did a beautiful job. And, but, like, this, uh, he just grew with, like, a mane on the back, so I guess it must have bred with, like, a horse sometime. So, <laughs> uh, uh, decent, yeah. Decent. 
effective. Yeah, no, that, well, I tell you what, that is a monster, monster buck. Put the back of the fixed up. Main to boot. Let's give Zach a big round of applause. What? Wow.